Hi, welcome back here. Um, in this particular uh, video, we'll be looking at how to develop um, using Gitpod and GitHub. Right? So we already looked at how to register uh, in the first video, uh, but then now we'll be looking at how to develop using uh, Gitpod. So um, first, um, the different ways to sort of connect through um, Gitpod. But one way that I find very, very uh, easy to do that is by going to my repo. And then I just basically create a new repo. I might call this the db2 repo. And come here and perhaps say, I like, say, this is my db2 project. Um, you can select public or private. Um, and then you can add read me file, so to be fine, optional anyways, and then create the repository, right? So right now we have like this uh, dbt uh, repo and there'd be my then say, okay, we want to develop into this repo using Gitpod. Um, the very easy way to do this, very, very easy way to do this is just by um, coming to this uh, bar um, you know, the address bus, I just make this a bit more, you know, um, and then basically here, you just write git board. Oh, sorry. You just come before the, um, GitHub, you just write git board, right? Git port, the IO, and then you put the, um, the slash and you put the hash, right? And then you just run it like this. So now you just put the git pod that you, you know, um, slash, and then you put the hash. And so automatically it connects to this, um, right flux, you know, basically our repo that we just created. And then you can select whatever VS code version you would like to use for this project. And then you could, you know, select whatever compute you'd like to use, um, for the project, um, I probably would maybe like to go with a desktop um, editor, but maybe I just did this in the browser. So we could just steal the browser with the VS code and then you click the workspace. And so basically it goes ahead to, to load up the page and automatically now you have your, uh, uh -huh. you know, you have your, your platform where you can you know, do your, your coding, you could essentially come here and, um, create a new file. It could be like, a, um, you know, a Python file, which is, let's say I want to call this ABC that I P Y N B. And so automatically I have a Python notebook that I can, you know, do whatever I want to do, maybe import some, you know, uh, libraries like pandas, you know, and then just run, right. So this is, this is something I could do. I probably wouldn't go too deep into this. Um, you can explore this on your own. Uh, thanks. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.